suspense. And the producer of radio's outstanding theater of thrills, the master of mystery and adventure, William N. Robeson. There's no business like show business. So it's no wonder show business is full of superstitions. Never whistle in the dressing room. Never give the curtain line of a play until dress rehearsal. Don't send your laundry out if Monday night business is bad. And of course, the sentimental daddy of them all, the show must go on. History has yet to record a trooper trepidatious enough to ask why. But our story concerns itself with a show that did not go on. And the theatrical superstition which states, never follow a banjo act with a banjo act. Listen, listen then as one of the greatest show people of them all, Miss Margaret Whiting, stars in Never Follow a Banjo Act, which begins in exactly one minute. Memo on medals. Interesting information about our military awards and decorations. In the past, a person receiving a medal for valor was also awarded additional pay. Not so today. Winners of the Medal of Honor, however, are entitled to receive a special pension of $100 a month when they reach the age of 50. And all enlisted personnel who have won the Medal of Honor, the Distinguished Service Cross, or the Navy Cross are authorized by law to have their retirement pay increase 10%. Although the custom of awarding medals is as old as recorded time, the United States has issued comparatively few, and these rather late in our history. Our present system dates back to the Civil War, almost 100 years after we had emerged as a nation. The Bronze Star, one of our newest medals, was authorized in 1944 for anyone in the United States Armed Services who distinguishes himself by heroic or meritorious achievement not involving an aerial flight in military operations against an armed enemy. America's citizen soldiers have brought glory to themselves and their country down through the years defending our free way of life. And now... Never Follow a Banjo Act Starring Miss Margaret Whiting A tale well calculated to keep you in Suspense So if I am fancy free and love to wander It's just a gypsy in my soul Rosie Jones, pride of 52nd Street, out in the Club Nightshade. I uh, sing melancholy, baby. <laughs> and folks, now Club Nightshade invites you to dance to the rhythm of Chico and his Mambo Rascal. La da 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 Sing melancholy, baby, the jerk. Yeah, who is it? Rosie, you decent? Enough. Rosie? This here is Mr. Cramp. Hello, Rosie. Yeah? And I'm Patrice Munsell. No, no kidding, Rosie. This is Mr. Cramp. The Mr. Cramp. Sorry, Mr. Cramp, but every crumb that comes back here hoping to score claims that he's a big agent like you. <laughs> yeah, I understand, Rosie. Have a chair. Throw that junk on the floor. It's only last year's mink. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I've been an admirer of yours for many years, Rosie. Many, many years. Benny, if this is a rib, so help me, I'll kill you. Listen to Mr. Cram, doll. Now, as you know, I'm representing Terry Dane. Now, you know who he is. You know what I got, right? Right? Right, right, right. The hottest thing since Frankie tied his first bow tie. That's it. We had new ones and new ones. They come, they go. But this Terry Dane is a million dollar a year gross with tousled hair. He's a face you like to put in your lap and hug and kiss and a voice... <laughs> The answer to a maiden's prayer, huh? Personally, I go for men. <laughs> she goes for men. Mm. He's a great little kid, I bet he. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's the pitch? All right, you ask what's the pitch, Rosie, I'm going to tell you. We're opening Terry at the new Casa Cactus in Vegas two weeks from Saturday. He's getting 25 Gs a week. I read it in Variety. Big deal. Now, we need somebody to work with him, Rosie. Somebody who's got the experience, the talent... 
And a voice you could lay bricks on. Somebody who can really go along with him. It is a rib. May my mother be struck dead. I should say one word that isn't the truth, sincere and from the heart. Go on. All right. Benny is paying you two seventy-five, Rosie, right? I want to buy your contract from him. I'll give you an even grand expenses plus transportation. You like? To work with Terry Dane. Four weeks, guaranteed. Maybe even a bonus. Who knows? Benny. I seen the contract, Rosie. And, uh... I'll give you ten seconds. Give me a firm answer. Say yes. We'll finalize it here and now. You don't mind if I seem a bit in the dark? Nine seconds, Rosie. What happened to that big My Darling Died campaign your office was spreading when you had your boy singing I'll Never Smile Again over the cute little girl singer who was killed in that accident? What, Constance Green? The boy got over it. So why don't you get him another young thing like she was? Uh, never follow a banjo act with a banjo act. Rosa, you know, old show business motto. Gee, she was cute. An accident. What was it? He fell through a shower door or something, bled to death? You've got five seconds. Four, three, two, and I'll take it. Ah, that's my girl, Rosie. All right, now, while you're signing these, uh, uh, you want to leave us alone for a minute, Benny? There, sure thing, Mr. Cram. There's the pen. I just, uh, yeah, that's it. Standard form. No riders? No, no riders, Rosie. Just one thing I would like to make clear right from the outset so there's no misunderstandings later. Why, Mr. Cram? No, 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 no. I'm serious, dear. About Terry. Keep away from him. Okay. I mean away, dear. He's, uh, he's a moody kid. He's terribly shy. Remember what I said before about liking men? Yeah, yeah. That's what I call being mature. And he's just a boy. You got no interest, you'll develop none, right? You'll keep clear, clean, and away, right? Right. Oh, I'll uh, make it look good on stage, Ray. But after hours, after hours, I'm going hunting for a man. <laughs> Terry Dane. Me and Terry Dane. <laughs> They liked us, Rosie. It was a good arrangement, Terry. Well, go on. There's the intro for your solo. Uh, who cares about solos? I like duets. I like doing it with you, honey. They like you. They love you. Every last dame in the place. So come on, get out there. Yeah. Yeah, they love me. It's true. Every last one of them out there. It's, it's just a thing that happens to women when I sing. Only... Somehow, it, it just doesn't seem to happen to you, Rosie. Now, why is that, I wonder? In a moment, we continue with the second act of... Suspense. Another visit with Joe and Daphne Forsythe. <laughs> You're mercy, I you are, Ernestine. Joe. <laughs> Joseph. What? 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 Who is she? Who's who? Who were you dreaming about? Was I dreaming? You were talking in your sleep and giggling. How about that? What were you giggling about? I can't remember. Joseph, you mentioned a girl's name. Oh? What name? Spas. Spas? Yes, Spas. Candy spots. It sounded like a dancer or a striptease or something. Oh. Oh, what? Well, I must have said candy spots. Candy spots is a horse. I bet on him once. You bet on a horse? Yeah, we had a pool. I could have won $3. Well, you should have put the money into savings bonds. They're a much better investment. It was only 50 cents. For 63 cents a day, you can buy a $25 bond a month. And one year's worth of bonds will bring $300 when they mature. What's more, they're guaranteed to be winners. The whole United States stands behind them. Uh-huh. So don't waste money betting on horses. Put it in savings bonds. Okay. Can I still dream about horses, though? If you do it quietly. Say, why were you giggling about a horse? And now... Starring Miss Margaret Whiting... Act two of Never Follow a Banjo Act. 
All right, folks, place your bets. Get your bets down. Here you are. Two bucks on number 23. Miss Jones, ma'am? Why, hello, Texas. Oh, my name ain't Texas, ma'am. It's Earl. Earl White. Earl. That's such a short name for such a long man. Well, I uh, I just wanted to tell you how much I liked your singing, Miss Jones. Really? You're not just saying that. Oh, no, ma'am. Well, Earl, you're one in a million. Yes, sir. And, uh... Speak your piece, Earl. Well, I'd sincerely like to buy you a drink, Miss Jones. Well, let's saddle up hard and get with it. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Sunrise. Mm -hmm. Best time of the day, Rosie. Mm -hmm. Look at all those mountains, all purpley and gold. A man could look at them mountains for quite a spell without getting the least my tired. Well, Earl, here's my bungalow, so I guess I'll be saying good night. Or is it good morning? Don't rightly know which you'd say, ma'am. Uh, let's just make it so long till later. You still want to go riding this afternoon? Yes, um, yes, ma'am. So long, partner. So long, Rosa. Who's there? Who's that in the bedroom? Hey, dream boy. What are you doing here? Terry? Oh, come on now, Terry. It's uh, time to go home to your Betty bye. Gotta look good tonight, Pally. Yes, indeedy. So come on. Hey, you're going to cut yourself playing with that knife. Now put it away. Terry. You're like Connie. Connie? You're like Connie and that other one. When I was little. Connie. Oh, you mean Constance Green, the girl that used to sing with you. The one who died. Connie was like you. Now, we're not in the least alike. Connie didn't like me. Get that... Don't snap that so close to me. Now, don't. Connie didn't like me, and you don't like me. Everybody likes you, Terry. You don't. Yes, I do. I I do. Why? Because when you sing... Well, when you sing, it, it, it does something to me. Way inside. Does it? Yes, and it, uh... It makes a lump in my throat, and... Well, I just want to swoon. You don't mean it. Yes, I do. I I do. I've never heard anything like you, Terry, and... Your hair. Oh, I love your hair. I, uh... I just want to tousle it. Do that. Do what? What you said. Huh? Don't you remember? That knife. It's making me nervous. You don't like me, or you do what you said. Well, put the knife away, and I will... All right. Like this? Yes. Do you like to do that? Yes, I... I love to tousle your hair, Terry. You do. Yes, you do. You do, don't you? I can tell you do. Yes, Terry. I'll bet you'd like to kiss my eyelids now, huh, Connie? Oh, yes. Yes, tousle your hair and kiss your eyelids. Yes. But I won't let you. I, I got to get back to my bungalow now. All right, honey, if you insist. When I saw you lying there and all that blood, I knew you finally loved me and it was right. It was right. Yes, Terry, yes. Well, I'll see you tonight, darling. I I know it's, it's mean making you wait. That's all right, Terry. I'll wait. In just a moment, we continue with the third act of... Suspense. We have, together, ample capacity in freedom to defend freedom. This is NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. 
Ever heard of the Central Europe Operating Agency? It's an important part of NATO, headquartered near Versailles, France. The Central Europe Operating Agency is responsible for the operation of pipelines to ensure a supply of fuel for NATO's land and air forces in that area. The United States of America is a part of NATO. You should be aware of and alert to the programs and objectives of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. And now... Starring Miss Margaret Whiting, Act Three of Never Follow a Banjo Act. Let me in. I've got to see you. Uh, what's the problem, Rosie? It's your boy, your tousle-headed million-dollar client. Uh, what, Terry? Yeah. All right, what is the rascal up to this morning? Murder. It's very funny. Come on, honey, I'll order up some coffee and we'll sit Ray, down. Ray, right. that boy's a nut. He was in my bungalow just now with a knife this long, suggesting that I should, well, maybe flip every time he opens his but mouth. you got to be kidding. Kidding? He darn near cut my throat. Oh, because he thinks I don't like him enough. Don't like him? Yeah, and well, you know what you said about the old show business motto, never follow a banjo act with a banjo yeah, act? Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, Ray Cram, you've done it. He's got me all mixed up in his mixed up mind with that kid singer and something about lying in a pool of blood and... Well, to that boy, I'm another banjo act. All right, all right, all right. Rosie, what do you think we should do? Call the police. We can't very well do that, though, can we? Well, why not? The kid's sick. He, he's insane. He could do anything. Aren't you exaggerating just a little? No. Now, think, dear. Don't you think it might have been just a little joke, huh? Ray, nobody makes jokes like sure that. Sure they do. Now, why don't we just forget about this, huh, Rosie? Forget about it? Yeah, forget about it. You know... I know what, that the kid is maybe a little bit loopy? You know. You know about him and that little knife right, of his. All right, don't raise your voice. A and maybe you know how that other girl singer died. She fell through a shower door. I read about it. She was cut up pretty bad, wasn't she? All right, now listen, Rosie, and listen to me good. Now, you've been around a long time, dear. You know what can happen sometimes to a Weisenheimer goes popping off when it's not called for. But this is called for, that... That kid belongs in an asylum or someplace. That kid represents a million-dollar gross. Of which you get 10%. Of which I get a whole lot less than that. He's divided up half a dozen ways, Rosie. Some of the holders are very influential parties. One of the parties in particular wouldn't like it if anything happened to make the money stop coming in. Now, this party's name is a secret, but you I'm going to tell it to because you've been around, Rosie. You can appreciate this. Who's the party? The syndicate. So explain. They're human beings, sort of. Tell them the truth. Tell them they bought in on something bad, just like no, you. No, 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 you don't understand. I sold them, Terry Dane. Me, Ray Cram. You're in trouble. Not unless you talk. If you do, you're in trouble, too. How do you mean I'm in trouble, too? The syndicate. I'd be forced to tell them who blew the whistle on their golden goose. And then... <laughs> uh, you know. Oh. So take the realistic view, huh, baby? We'll protect you. We'll keep Terry away from you. You've got nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. That's nice to know. Now, look, Ray, couldn't I just slip out of town? No. I saw the boys after the show. They liked you. You stay. That's the word from the boys. I wish I were dead. You do like I say you won't be. And there's one more thing, dear. Yes, dear. Now, you're singing good on your solo. Don't sing too good on your duet. Hmm? Don't take it away from the boy. I won't, Ray. I'll make him look good. Now you're talking like I like to hear you. That's my girl. <laughs> Thank you. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, Terry Dane. 
Hello, folks. <laughs> Hi, baby. Folks, isn't she great? Isn't he great? Terry? Yeah, doll? What are you thinking about, Terry? Oh, things. What kind of things, Terry? Moon, June, spoon, tune. You got a tune? Oh, I got a tune. Good little tune? Happy little tune. Mmm. Mmm. I like a happy little tune. Is there a boy in it? No. Just a girl. What kind of a girl? A very quiet girl. And she was right, right and dead and red as red can be. What are you going to sing, Terry? She was red. It was all red. Get hold of yourself. Why are they whispering? Sing. Don't they like me? Sing, Terry. I'll make them like me. Make you like me, Connie. And now that we've done our little crazy bit, folks, we're... I'll never Terry. smile again. Terry, don't. Until I smile again. Oh, Charlie's got a knife! Dr. Kirkland, you can't cross me out. Get out of your heart. Connie, get out of your heart. Get out of your All right, folks, place your bets. Get them down. Concerned if I can figure what makes a feller like that tick, Rosie. I think I'll play the black tonight, partner. He went just plumb loco. Took six men to get him into that there special airplane. I swan flying a man to the bug house. Too many banjo acts. That's all, partner. Too many banjos. Suspense, in which Miss Margaret Whiting starred in William N. Robeson's production of Never Follow a Banjo Act by James Poe. Supporting Miss Whiting in Never Follow a Banjo Act were Eddie Marr, Lawrence Dobkin, Shep Mencken, and Jack Moyles. Listen. Listen again next week when we return with another tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. Suspense has been brought to you through the worldwide facilities of the United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service. Music